and welcome back to this quarantine podcast. My name is Kendrick. I'm alongside my partner, Grant Jones. What's up? What's up? What's going on, Grant? How you doing? Good brother. How you? I can't. I can't complain. I'm doing all right. Surviving. Yeah. <laughs> Still here. Do it. Doing the best that I can do. So, uh, for for those that don't know, Grant, Grant, Grant and I connected. I think it may have been about a year and a half ago. I was putting on some meetup groups, and it was a health, wealth, love, and happiness meetup group. And Grant and I connected. Loved his energy. I, I loved what what he talked about. But more importantly, I just loved his demeanor about life. Um, Grant has he's done it all: stand up comedy. Uh, he's doing a little bit of DJ. He's done some more Carnival Cruise, Illinois State University. And he's also involved with Mike Drop Entertainment. Yeah. So, uh, if did I did I miss anything, Grant? You, you, did, you uh, <laughs> I mean, GQ called me the other day, but that's that's another story. We we'll talk about that in the next segment. <laughs> yeah. Quarantine beer going there right here. <laughs> yeah, GQ hit you up. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, so so with today's topic, we've got a couple of topics that we want to go over, and we're we're bringing these short podcasts to you just because it's a great time for a lot of people to learn and just dive into a lot of concepts or things that they may not have done beforehand. Life got busy before the, was busy before the quarantine. And so one of the topics we're going to kick this off with is I'm a firm believer in continued growth. It doesn't matter if you are 10 years old. It doesn't matter if you're 70 years old. I think life is just a long marathon, but a long journey of learning about ourselves. And why I wanted to bring up the topic of self-worth, self-work and self-development is we're all stuck inside of our homes. We have nothing to do besides watch Netflix. And for those that read books or for those that listen to podcasts. So Grant, with, with self-worth, with self work, what is your definition of self work, and what are some things that you do to make sure that you're continually evolving, but more importantly, learning about yourself? For me, self work is more so just trying to become your like greatest version, and making sure that every day you are better than the day before. For me, I feel like. It's one of those things where you always have to be mindful of the fact that every day you wake up is a blessing and you just got a given opportunity that someone might have not got. They might not woke up. They might have came with an illness or something, you know, so you got to take advantage of the fact that you're here, you're alive. So for me, every day I wake up, I thank the universe. Thank God for waking up another day. And it's, it's go time. It's time to do better than the last day. Now, that being said, though, Sometimes you make some steps, you take one step forward, you take two steps back. But like you said, it's a, it's a marathon, you know, it's not a race to try to figure out life right here and now. You, it's a process. And with those steps you learn on the way of that process and that journey, you try to make the best of it and move forward each and every day. I like it. Now, you, did you feel, from, from a young age, did you feel that you were, people talk about you're either born with it or you're not born with it, whether that's greatness or whether that's a talent that you have. Did you feel from an early age, obviously you're involved with DJing and stand-up comedy. Did you feel at a, at a young age, you were already in tune with developing yourself and looking further within yourself to get you to where you are today? Oh yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. It's that it factor that everyone talks about. So it's one of those things where, I feel like some people are born with it naturally. Like you look at the greats, you got Usher, you got Michael Jackson, you got uh, Elvis, you know, these, these great people that we all look up to. And those are just singers. I even talked about entertainers, you know, we got Eddie Murphy, we got George Carlin. These people just have this it back to Robin Williams is a great example. They were just born to be entertainers and that's, it could just be entertainment or it could just be other things too. Like the born leaders like Barack Obama, JFK. There's just so many examples of, leadership and people that know who they are right away for me i feel like i was born with it it's uh something where when i was at a young age i was shy i think everyone has that shell that they're in 
but they know who they are. They have an essence of who they are. And they, they're trying to find, that's what the life journey is all about. They're trying to find out how can I take the talents that I've been given, the gifts that I've been given, and to you know multiply it and make it better. So for me, I feel like I've always had that it factor, but it just takes years to hone your craft and just keep on working. Um, talent won't get you far just alone with talent, you know. It's like you said, you have hard work, talent. I think I learned at young age, it's, it's the thirds. It's the third theory where it's about a third of talent. It's about a third of hard work, your work ethic, and then it's a third of who you know. So for me, I feel like my, most of my life, I've had the talent and I've had the work ethic. And during the journey, you meet people along the way to help you get to the next level. And that's kind of where I'm at right now in my life. Uh,